there's been some not so great news and maybe some good news in the EV world these days. And if you're like me and you've pre-ordered the Aptera Solar Charge electric vehicle and you just can't wait to get into this car, uh, these are two news stories worth paying a little bit of attention to. Uh, first is bad news. You know, Canoe, they've been set up to make this little truck. Uh, it looks like they're preparing for bankruptcy. They've begun layoffs and such. And why I say that's bad news, because it just shows again how hard electric vehicle startups are. All startups are hard, right? But EV startups are hard. And you look how far along Canoe was. They had contracts with uh, uh, Walmart for delivery vehicles. It looked like they had something going with the U.S. Post Office, something going with NASA. So there's a lot of reason for hope around this vehicle. They shifted gears in the last couple of months away from personal vehicles to solely commercial vehicles. I didn't know how that would go, uh, but it looks like things aren't going great. Now, we're not saying they're over. I don't know. Sometimes bankruptcy is just restructuring and get back on your feet and get to work. Hopefully that's the deal. But it does give you pause and you say, wait a minute, you know, I hope the Aptera can make it. I truly do. Uh, we all do. But we have to be serious about it and honest about it. It's a risky endeavor. I'm very hopeful. I think Aptera has a solid chance. Um, so I'm all in. Uh, but I understand that I don't know the future. <laughs> okay, neither do you. None of us do. So we'll hope for the best. But it just gives you kind of a reality check a little bit. Stop and think, well, let's see what happens. Stay hopeful. Hope for the best. We'll see what happens. There's big things going on with Aptera right now. Going to the CES will be a big deal. Restarting crowdfunding is a big deal. So there's reason that good, good things are coming. And you can't compare, you know, Aptera to Canoe. Totally different situations. Totally different ideas about how to build a vehicle totally different staffing requirements, building requirements. So there's some things that are built in efficiency wise, not just into the car itself of the Aptera, but in the way the Aptera is being produced. So we do have some advantages there. The second story, some, some of you are not gonna like what I say here probably, and I'm, I'm not sorry, because it's how I feel. There's been this story about Tesla developing a sub 25 or $20,000 vehicle for a very, very long time. And this week in the news, there's this big headline and you've seen the YouTube people just jump on this. There's a lot of YouTube videos. Finally making a sub $30,000 EV. It's going to be affordable. But the news report came out of China and nothing against China, the Chinese people, of course, but Tesla does business in China. So when I see a report from China about a small vehicle, I think probably for China, you know, for GM, they make small electric affordable vehicles. They just don't make them for the United States market. They make them for Europe and so forth. So that's what I'm thinking. Now, I heard a report, I think it was on Electric Viking, which is a very trusted source on YouTube, in my opinion, you know, just watching them. And he was talking about it being built maybe in California as, as well as China and some other areas. Okay, we'll see. But I go to the Tesla website, I go to their news. I didn't see the reporting there. Uh, it only came from this one source, from an investor meeting. Uh, so I don't, I don't necessarily believe it. But anyway, here's why the news is important. What if Tesla actually does make an affordable EV? What does that do for our Aptera? Because I get a lot of comments that'll say, well, if, if Aptera is going to cost 35 grand, why don't I just buy a Model 3? If you want a Model 3, buy a Model 3. So now if they make a cheaper vehicle than the, than the Aptera, why wouldn't I just buy that? Well, you should if that's what you want. Here's the deal, though. If you buy a small, affordable, if it really exists ever Tesla, good for you. I might buy one. But it doesn't mean I'm not going to buy a three-wheel, two-door, carbon fiber, charged by the sun, hyper-efficient supercar like the Aptera. I'm going to buy the Aptera no matter what else everybody else puts out into the market because it's not a direct competitor. It's nothing like the Aptera. So the renderings that showed up of this so supposedly Model Q or Model 2 Tesla are, of course, all fictional. Uh, the real, there's no real drawing of it in existence. A lot of people are taking the cyber cab and saying, hey, it's going to be that, but it's going to be a steering wheel, and it's going to be uh, brake and, and go pedal. Maybe. I don't know. But even that doesn't compare to an Aptera. It doesn't charge itself with the sun. It doesn't get... Uh, 400 miles charging in like an hour. It doesn't uh, get 40 free miles a day in Arizona and California, Nevada. It doesn't do what Aptera does. 
Aptera can charge itself. Aptera is a three-wheel vehicle. Aptera has two doors and a big cargo space. It's super light, super efficient. So those are the two stories that stuck out to me this week. The, the demise, perhaps, we don't know yet, of Canoe. And will Tesla actually make a small car? And if they do, should we just all buy that and forget Aptera? Well, I certainly don't think so. Thank you for watching. I know this was just me rambling, but I appreciate you being here with me. Especially, I appreciate those who have taken the time to subscribe. And if deserved, give me a thumbs up. And hey, if that's what I get, I get that too. The members of the channel, you keep the wheels churning on the positively charged YouTube channel. And the Mug Club members, you know what you did, you know why, and we're going to cash it in pretty soon. Another video available if you care to watch it. It's right there. And I certainly hope everybody has a good day. Very snowy here in Michigan today, as you can probably see out my windows. Thank you. Thanks for being here.